Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a 1989 side-scrolling platform game for the Nintendo Entertainment System released by Konami. In North America, it was published the Ultra Games imprint in the USA and the equivalent PALCOM brand in Europe, Australia. Alongside the arcade game, also developed by Konami, it was one of the first video games based on the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series, being released after the show's second season. Plot The Ninja Turtles Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello are on a mission to retrieve the Life Transformer gun from Shredder, a device that could restore their sensei Splinter back to his human form. The Turtles' first objective is to rescue their reporter friend April O'Neil, who is being held captive by Bebop and Rocksteady somewhere in the city. After rescuing April, the Turtles must swim underwater to disarm a series of bombs set to destroy a dam, rescue Splinter from the Mecha Turtle, destroy a giant mouser, find the Technodrome and eventually defeat Shredder. <laughs> Gameplay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a single-player action game. The player starts the game as Leonardo, but can switch to any of the other turtles at any time by pressing the start button to access the information screen. The information screen shows each turtle's health, whatever special weapon he has obtained, a map grid of the current area, and messages from either Splinter or April. Each turtle's unique primary weapon has different speed, power and reach. When the player's current character runs out of health, falls into a fatal trap, or is run over by a roller car, he is captured by the enemy, forcing the player to change to one of the remaining turtles. The player loses the game when all four turtles have been captured. There is an opportunity to rescue a captured turtle once in each stage beginning in stage 3. There are a total of six stages in the game. The player navigates the mission map in an overhead view as they travel to doors, manholes or other entrances to the side-scrolling interior levels, which represent the primary gameplay. In the overhead view, the player can move in the four cardinal directions and use their primary weapon in a single type of attack. As the game progresses, more and more obstacles and enemies appear in the overhead maps. In the side-scrolling levels, the turtles can jump or crouch and attack either with their primary weapons while jumping, walking, or crouching, or use one of the alternate weapons that they have picked up along the way. These special weapons include single shurikens throwing stars, triple shurikens launches three stars simultaneously in a spreading pattern, boomerangs, and the ki, a scroll that expands into a crescent-shaped beam and inflicts devastating damage on even boss characters. These items are occasionally dropped by enemies. The special weapons are obtained in limited quantities, although the boomerangs can be reused if the player catches them on the return. The primary weapon can be aimed upwards or downwards. In some levels, there is a specific objective obtaining an item, defeating a boss, etc. However, in most levels the goal is to reach the exit and return to the overhead map in a previously inaccessible location. The player encounters enemy characters, acquires weapons and special items, and collects pizza to restore health. In the second half of Stage 2, the turtles dive into the Hudson River using an underwater version of the side-scrolling gameplay. In this level, the turtles must navigate a number of traps, with a time limit of 2 minutes and 20 seconds to find and disarm 8 time bombs. Releases. Regional differences The game was released for the Family Computer or Famicom in Japan a few months earlier than the American NES version under the title of Gekai Kame Ninja Den Ren Yun, which roughly translates to, "...Legend of the Radical Ninja Turtles". This was the first TMNT product released in the country, predating the Japanese dub of both the first film and the animated series. Subsequent TMNT video games released in Japan kept the franchise's original title. While graphics and gameplay are virtually identical to its NES counterpart, the plot underwent a slight change. April O'Neil, who is simply a friend of the Turtles in the American version, is established to be Splinter's daughter in the Famicom version. The game was released as Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in all European territories. 
The Australian version was released with the series' original title Australia always used the Ninja title, with a different box. Ports The game was ported to various home computer platforms in 1990, including the Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Atari Street and Amiga. The Spectrum version of the game was number one in the UK sales chart from March until August 1991. The DOS version is infamous, as it contains a gap that is impossible to cross without cheating. It was also released in 2007 on the Wii's Virtual Console. It was released for the Wii in Europe and Australia for 500 points which was later raised to 600 Wii points. In North America, it was released for Wii on April 2, 2007 for the price of 600 points—100 points more than the average NES game—due to a licensing issue. It was the first licensed game to appear on the North American and European Virtual Console. Due to licensing issues, it was later removed from the Wii Shop channel in Japan on January 24, 2012 and in North America and Europe on January 26, 2012. Reception The game has mixed reviews. GameSpot's Frank Provo gave Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2.7 out of 10 citing the game's very hard difficulty and the game's unpolished and unfun nature as reasons for the rating. Provo also stated that while the game's music is upbeat but that the music and the game in general lacks the more recognizable traits of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Mark Birnbaum of IGN gave Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a 5.5 out of 10 pointing out that the game is dated and only for nostalgic and hardcore fans. Birnbaum stated that the controls were poor, the enemies bland and the level design and characters were negatives in the game. Your Sinclair gave the game a 90% rating, praising the game's colorful, cartoonish graphics and move sets while also criticizing the game's swimming level. Sequels The game got three sequels, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game in 1990, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project in 1991, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IV, Turtles in Time in 1992.